ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Truck Rudy show. We have taken off here a few minutes ago. And I had to charge up my remote for my camera so uh, that way I can be hands free. So I don't need to touch the camera so we can record. So we're starting a little bit later with our show than usual, but hey, that's the way it goes. We've already been on the road now for an hour. <coughs> yeah. Construction ahead. We're just giving her today. That's right, we just had our minimum 10 hour break and we took off right away as soon as we done our pre-trip and hammer down, hammer down. We got 800, 800 miles to do yet in total right now. So uh, if we do 600 miles today, that only leaves us with 200 miles tomorrow or a little bit more maybe. And. Uh, so that's going to be like four and a half hours drive to my delivery roughly so uh, I'm going to probably call the customer today yet and find out if I can deliver there tomorrow. If that is the case then uh, I might even show up there tomorrow and do my delivery tomorrow. Wouldn't that be awesome? My load is only scheduled for the day after tomorrow but if I work hard I could possibly deliver that tomorrow. That would be even better for me. Yes, indeed. Anyhow, we're going to continue cruising along here and then uh, we'll see what kind of goodies we can come up with today for you guys. I just finished fueling up here and uh, just past South Beloit there at the Loves. I've been fueling at the Loves lately a, bit, a little bit more, so uh, yeah, I fueled her up over there and now we're going again. Yeah. We are now in Illinois, that's for sure. We're actually only probably about half an hour away from actually hitting Chicago. So I think we will hit it at the right time. We'll be around 11 o'clock by the time we get into Chicago. So we shouldn't have too many traffic issues today, I would think. So I guess I timed it good again today with uh, coming into this area up here, that's for sure. Yeah, we still got another 723 miles to go before we uh, get to our delivery, but uh, I decided, you know what, let's get fuel over here because I got the big tank so I can go a long way, so I didn't even have to fuel up yet. I only fueled uh, 113 gallons, so that's not like I needed fuel, but... Uh, I know in Pennsylvania the fuel is way higher than it is up here so I decided you know what let's get fuel over here and that way I don't have to fuel in Pennsylvania I don't think depending on I guess where they're going to send us or me but uh, yeah that's that's the plan right, right now anyhow time to make us a pit stop here in Gary Indiana at the Petro I like stopping here because they got the uh, chicken alfredo stuff so we're gonna go ahead and go in here and grab us a bite eat yeah it's a very big truck stop over here actually there's a lot of truck parking available over here but don't let that fool you this truck stop gets real full at night because it's right here on the edge of chicago and they got another truck stop across the street used to be a flying j now it's a loves Anyways, let's go in and have some lunch. It is time to get out of here, guys. Yeah, we spent an hour in here already, so... Uh, it is definitely time to get out of here. Let's hurry up a little bit, because we still have a green light. We can get out of here, so... That's awesome. There we go. Now we're out of here, yeah. This is basically uh, construction ahead. Gary, Indiana. Feet. Take the entrance to the right on I-80 East on I-80 so we'll be, uh, East East. Entering Michigan. No, no, I'm not sure if we'll right be entering Michigan. No, I don't think we will. We'll be going right on the edge of Michigan, but uh, because we will be uh, riding along I-80. Uh, so we will be in Indiana for a while yet. But yeah, it's a gorgeous day today, that's for sure. Nice and calm, nice sunny day. 
Couldn't ask for anything better on a summer day. That's for sure. Well, yeah, we managed to avoid all the big rush hour traffic in Chicago, so that's awesome. Because we're pretty much on the outskirt of Chicago right now. Got a little ways to go, and we'll be uh, we'll be on I-80, six miles, and uh, to be exact, and we'll be making our exit to go to uh, I-80. Awesome. So let's hammer down to make our way towards our delivery. We still have 606 six miles to do. Oh, what was this guy doing? He really cut me close. Wow. Yeah, that was a close one there. I guess he didn't like that, that I was coming into this lane because that lane is exiting. So. Oh well. I have now made it into Ohio, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. I did go ahead and call the customer there earlier. And they said, yes, matter of fact, they're actually kind of slow. So they would be kind of happy to see me there tomorrow, I'd give them something to do. So I told them, yeah, I'll be there tomorrow afternoon if nothing goes wrong. So uh, that's my plan as of right now. We're going to make it there tomorrow, I think. I still got 440 miles to go yet, but uh, I can probably do another two hours, maybe even three today yet. Uh, according to my logbook, I can do another three hours and 55 minutes, but uh, I don't know exactly how far I'll actually go today because uh, I don't know what's around there. I haven't really looked to see what kind of truck stops are around where I want to stop. I usually do that when I get a little bit closer to where I would like to stop or when I start thinking about stopping then I start looking for that so I went ahead and sent dispatch a message letting them know that I uh, called the customer let them know that I would be there early or tomorrow anyways and they said they had no beef with uh, me coming there tomorrow so uh, I just have not received any reload offers, so I guess they're scrambling to try and find me a reload right now. That's usually how that goes. If I get somewhere early, then they had probably something planned for later the next day, right? Because that was the original plan I was supposed to deliver this following day, not tomorrow. But I figured, you know, I want to work hard and I need some miles. Uh, I pushed hard yesterday and pretty hard today, so uh, we'll be there probably around 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at this place. And then, uh, you know, if it's an hour and a half, I give him time to unload. That's when I told dispatch I'll be available. So I think that should be enough time. And then I'll probably still have another four and a half, possibly five hours available after that to drive. So if I get me a reload somewhere, I can start heading that direction. That would be nice if I could get me a reload tomorrow and, or at least, you know, get me a message to let me know which way I got ahead. So that way I can start heading that way and be ready there for uh, Thursday morning to load if, if nothing else, you know. We have made it to the rest area and that sun is really bright, shining right in my face. There we go. Now I'm behind the truck here, so. Yeah, there's still a good amount of truck parking available, but I already have to park here in the rear. I mean, there's a couple of spots open over there, but they're like on the front down. I don't really like that. I like to have the front up a little bit, so I parked her over there. Now I'm going to go in and use the men's room and all that good stuff. And then it's time to edit some videos. Yeah. I'm like three videos behind already, so I gotta get to it, so. Anyways, as you guys can see, there's a good number of truck parking here. I think there's even another row over there. So there's quite a few trucks that can actually park in here. As you guys know, we made it up to this rest area up here, and I've been working real hard on my videos uh, here last night. I worked several hours on them. Yes, and I got two of them done so they were the most difficult ones there from uh camping and cutting and editing and all that stuff so and then also from the trucker gathering there the fireworks there's a lot of cutting because you know you 
got always a period of time where nothing is happening right between where one firework goes off till you have to light the other one because we don't have a professional setup where you know we just light one and then it goes along right so uh you have to light them separately right so there is a lot of cutting and matching up i did my drone flight in i had this camera going at the same time so i could capture the sound and also a little bit of that footage and i had the drone from the air and capturing all those footage so uh, it took a lot of cutting and stuff like that till we got her where we wanted it so uh we'll see how that footage comes out but uh anyways uh, we're done with today's vlog so we appreciate you guys watching leave a thumbs up down there below and also share the video and if you haven't subscribed already don't uh, forget to hit that subscribe button down there below and follow our daily journey you can learn a lot from us sometimes and sometimes it's a lot of bullshit <laughs> <laughs> yeah sometimes it's funny and uh whatever you know sometimes we do family vlogs so uh anyhow if you like this video please tell your friends and family about it so they can learn something from it too or have a laugh at it so uh with that being said this has been trucker rudy signing out